What's good, guys? So, um, I want to come on here and share a few things, uh, some words that I've been given. And the first is, um, in Espanol, se llama escondido. This is like really working. I went to a boxing class this morning and it was like, it was crazy. It was so crazy, but um, I'm hungry, so I'm trying to get through this pretty quickly. So, as my food keeps coming in, I might be kind of prompted. <laughs> to end a little bit sooner um, yeah the message that I was given was escondido so now things are about to change I'm just like there's um, a feeling of eminence a feeling of something is going on in the air and um, oh, gracias <laughs> see what I mean um, and things are happening like relatively quickly and I'm feeling like um because this is asking you to change, there's a, going to be a period now where you're really asked to like pull yourself inside. And this feels counter kind of intuitive to what some of my friends and peers are, would say is, you know, these demonic and like pagan holidays. Uh, because if... Somebody went for a run and they're sweating and it's just a bit funky, so it's funky. Anyway, and I have an appetite and just like smelly, so I'm gonna move over there. <laughs> but um yeah, so what I'm feeling is like there is this huge change of like um you know oh, sorry about the I don't know what's going on with that, but there's feeling this need to really be alone. And I get this feeling that a lot of you are about to be blessed. Now, what do you mean by that? Why do I have to be alone if I'm being blessed? Usually, what I'm feeling is the change that's coming is going to be so big that you can't really be really associated with some of the people even that were in passing. It's going to have to be a brand new feeling and a brand new space, and you're going to have to be hidden. Now, I've been, like, really making sure I've been, like, um, preparing this message and making sure I was receiving right because I don't just hear for myself um, I hear for others and as I'm listening and reading more of like the good book I'm really really paying attention to and like this has come up a, f a few times and I'm really paying attention to how we are being asked to work during this time so what I mean by this is like moving in silence, being really quiet about some of your accomplishments, where you're going, who you're talking to, what meetings you have, um, and this is this is the reason. Maybe like one, only one person knows where I live, Marita K. What are you talking about? Well, then maybe it's time to move. Like this is the extreme level of. And I'm so sorry about the other noise. Let me just take a sip because this juice is like, they call it um, taranja. That is so good. Mm, oh my God. And it's tangy and everything. Um. Okay, let me just pause and tell you that like I found this place here. And it's like a vegan cafe. Well, it's like all natural. To be honest, like the menu is so freaking extensive that like I just like I seriously want to just see more of it. But I digress. Um, what is really being called is just kind of being really quiet. And I say this because I have been getting messages that for a lot of people around you, it's going to get really bad um so what am i seeing and why am i saying this because a lot of people are reliant on certain economies and we don't work on that economy we um work on something that people can't see spiritual economy god's economy so when people ask well how did you do how did you travel with 200 dollars? you had only like 1500 bucks in five countries two years and you publish a book i mean this doesn't make sense how did you live in all these countries how did you pay your rent in chiang mai <laughs> like, 
you know, how did you like live in some places and like for extended periods of time? How did you go to Malaysia, all places twice, Thailand twice? So, what's about to happen for a lot of people is gonna be, you know, just you're being called to keep quiet. You're being called to really like um, have a deep, uh, you know, internal. Use what God has given you when you interact with other people. So if you talk to other people and you end up feeling like super drained, you know, what's going to happen when things completely change? It's going to be a very dark winter for a lot of people, and I just want to keep saying that. It's going to be super dark for a lot of people. And... Oh my god. That is so good. I think it's like papaya or something. But anyway. So this period of time, and now you're being asked to just be real quiet. Just don't say anything. Fall off the radar. I think even Gary Vaynerchuk had, a, 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 like, he was talking about, you know, having a blackout December. And all of his, like, people, his staff, his, his, um, his the people he contracts with, said look are we even gonna have a job this is a media company but just so this is a time to really go inside and just really check on yourself you know do a lot of self-investigation checking of your friends fasting praying um, staying staying quiet this is really a time to like start saving your money be guarding things be really like in tune you know asking for more dreams and the truth is, that's why most of us are here, like, where you guys are like loners for the most part. And so, for those of you entering into the season, it's, it's, I congratulate you. I think this has been really awesome. I think I'm really happy for you. I think also a lot of times you, you have been shown in the past week, some of the weird who have had like certain strongholds, certain spiritual strongholds of people who didn't want you to succeed. This could have even been lovers, friends, neighbors. Um, and you're starting to also see a lot of the um, people who like you genuinely cared about who are starting to take advantage of you, like the fake friends, people who were just like taking people who are only using the benefits of being your friend without actually doing much and like you know it's time to just go inward you know and not keep being sucked I mean these are kind of like vampires in a way and you're like but I don't feel drained but like honestly you kind of are you are kind of drained you are kind of drained you actually are drained something within you a resource your energy, um, your money, that's all money is, is energy. Your friendships, the energy that you give to other people without like really receiving much back, that's when it's time to cut it off. And don't feel bad about being quiet in this season. Remember that God gave Noah this, you know, this dream and, and Noah warned other people, just like maybe you tried to share with other people, oh, it's going to get bad, oh, like, you know, um, Maybe you were talking about, I don't know, whatever it is. You become a lot more enlightened during this period. Some of you just even waking up now. Some of you just kind of like saying, well, something's kind of fishy here. You know, and when I look back and I think um, at, at a lot of the comments I had been getting from the beginning, like even when I was posting on my, oops, <laughs> There we go. Even when I was posting on my Instagram and I was like seeing uh, like some of these amazing comments like Marinicate, I, I don't know. I want to do certain things, but I don't know how. Guess what, sweetie pie? This is your time right now. Like this COVID is, I keep swearing, this is one of the best things to ever happen to you. Why is this one of the best things to happen to you? Because you are given this moment to level up. You don't know what to do. You need to start, you know, looking up you know, YouTube. That's one of the freest and most, like, 
amazing universities that you have out there and you can just continue to just do as much reading as you possibly can so you can understand what's going on for yourself. How can I write a book? Well, there's all kinds of like YouTube videos about that. How can I like start a business? I mean, you know how to do hair. You like to bake cookies and cakes. Guess what? This is a perfect time for a lot in their house and they're getting ready to start coming out. Now this vaccine has been mandated. Now this vaccine has been, you know, given like <laughs> this things are going to change tremendously and some of you who utilize this opportunity are going to be so happy that you did you're gonna stop saying like you know that was a waste of my energy that was just draining me you are seeing all of these things now like your eyes have been fully opened now that some of you are even like taking this pill you can't go back and you're going to start seeing a lot of your friends and family start falling off and they're going to start dropping off and there's, there's, this, there's this like secret envy within them. And a friend of mine even said like they don't know how to act around you because they don't, uh, there's something about you that they can't relate to that they're feeling one either small against, they're feeling, um, they just, that doesn't work in their world of wearing masks. A very real people person is gonna have, you know, not very many friends. You're real. Most people don't operate in a real sense. Spending time alone is one of the best things you can do. You start fasting, you start reading the word because you are always protected. And what God has for you, no one is gonna take that away. There's a lot of things that look really impossible and that end up like, you know, beyond going beyond what you think. Is this the end times? I can't say. I think you need to like have your own personal relationship with your maker, with God, and you need to learn about what the end times is. Are things changing? Absolutely. And is your situation going to change? Absolutely. And now this is the moment where you can say it's either for the better or the worse. But right now you're being asked to just keep quiet, stop sharing all of your secrets, um, and just keep, keep, keep your head down and, you know, no oversharing, which can be very hard in this in a space where everybody is isolated and they're really vying for human connection and you know when things start happening and they're coming together this might be amazing but what's going on with the stimulus friend well my friends in Japan they had a stimulus pass like this in the US they might be preparing for a lot more riots why did you say so many people like if one person only knows where my house is People are doing, in, like, they're checking. What does this person have? What can I get? Soon, it may not be this time. But what I can tell you from what I know in the United States, because this video is in English, um, you, you all are just... You, the president is not even clear. Like, what is going on in the, the United States is not even clear with the status of things. Yes, Congress has stayed in office for... I don't know, another week, two weeks, um, until the, the, the 18th to try to get people something passed. So they're even, and people are upset already if you look at different people's YouTube comments, like, what is going on? Oh my God. And in Canada, you know, we're seeing a lot of these same issues. In Africa, I'm seeing a lot of friends, you know, in in Nigeria and like you know there was a warehouse that opened up with rice and a video of everybody just running in and they said hey we ran out people going in with video cameras if this is just the beginning and the virus is issued and you're not able to get your alkaline foods you're not able to eat right you're not able to like you know have have proper nutrition this might be a problem later so how can you prepare for all of those things just keep quiet just yeah, things are going great. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. It's just so interesting what's happening with COVID. Boom, that's it. Don't share anything else. Just kind of keep to yourself. And if you have to completely go off the radar, do it. I really support all of you in doing this. And, you know, um, if this doesn't come now, right? Let me just explain. Like, just so you can be in a space of anticipation. If this doesn't happen right now, let's just say uh, Congress is in and something ends up getting passed, this relief bill they're talking about, not even like a stimulus.
Now, Mike Maloney also talks about this, and I will just keep harping on and on and on about, you know, the hidden secrets of money. And he shared this, and this is why I really am for this education of YouTube. You know, you can actually learn a lot about artificial intelligence. You can learn a lot about, like, money and um, in different ways. I learned a lot. Again, I'm going to share unintended consequences. This is... Um, for people, actually, I just like heard about it from somebody, a prepper, I think, and then again, I just typed it in YouTube, I was like, what is this, and then unintended consequences came out, and it was like, oh, it's like people who own guns, but it goes through whole histories of things and puts your mind in different situations, and not that you want to get there, but listen, I think things are really going to get really good for a lot of people while the rest are crying and saying it was awful so what things can you do to save your money to prepare for um, ascension to prepare for uh, moving forward to prepare for this amazing life that you know has been made for you. you it's already done but the thing is you have to do it it's like you can't sit around and be hanging out and, and you know talking and with people when half of the time you don't even like the conversations that you're having you don't even like the people that you're around so if you are a person who does not wear a mask if you are unapologetically yourself genuinely it is such a good idea just cut it off you know disconnect yourself from these people and focus on everything that you are building like they're talking now about a v-shaped recovery okay the crash the stock market is going to crash but you say something like you have three weeks you have three weeks to get things in order before things really go boom me kevin is uh a youtube I had been watching really about like all the things he, he always comes up with these amazing content and he also shares hey this is what the Fed just said the Fed just said it's going to get really bad but if you listen and you're in anticipation you're going to be good not just like oh I'm in I'm ready I'm ready got my ammo and like you know I'm like I, I, I've like been prepping my whole basement's like packed full of stuff I'm not just talking about that I'm talking about living in a spiritual world when we're seeing everything that we're seeing right now. This is spiritual warfare. You're seeing like the unmask, the unhingement of government. You're seeing the unhingement. This, these are spirits. You're seeing demonic possession. You're seeing deep witchcraft in in Hollyweird. You're seeing this in, um, in in the offices. This COVID is a spiritual battle this is like not something to joke about and to maybe focus on alkaline foods focus on fasting and praying and focus on you know your health working out making sure you're like you know um just in a better space you're fasted up prayed up you're read up you're you're doing all the things you need to do to take care of your spiritual physical and overall health all of your well-being then you have nothing to worry about. But the message for this is just, you know, it's gonna be really good for a lot of people, but there there will be a time, right? Say the stimulus doesn't come out. Say that people, you know, the eviction moratorium on Christmas happens and people have nothing to lose at this point. And then there's gonna be more riots. And it might start here and then it's going to like happen more and more. So this is not to put anyone in a space of fear because God did not give us a spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and a sound mind, right? And to know, okay, like I am only listening to the voice of God. I'm only fasting so I can understand what God is telling me to how to move forward, how to like... Um, navigate especially in these really hard times so you guys i love you i care about you so much but if this doesn't happen after christmas right and people with nothing to lose are going crazy if it happens in january after people are like oh okay well this is the president okay like that's still gonna be a really hard time for people and they're telling everyone store up for the winter 
So get into a space where you can focus on yourself. I think starting an LLC is only $200. Start writing a book and you can do it on your own. It's practically free. If you go on Canva, you can get your own, like, um, you can get your own cover. You can draw your own can um, cover. Anyone can print a book. You don't have to wait for anyone or go find a printer or, you know, like, pray, please pick me. Am I good enough? Print it yourself. Go on Amazon. You want to start a business, start baking cakes, put it on Facebook. Share it with all your friends. Put posters up in the grocery store, the co-ops. This is the time to elevate right now, guys. I think something just flew into my dream. Um, so yeah, I wish you guys the best. I'm going to get back to what I'm kidding to you, but, uh, let's say it doesn't happen now, but it happened several months. You at least knew about it. Just prepare, keep quiet, um, and, and know you're not alone. It's time to like start building communities with people that have similar mindsets. And a community doesn't necessarily mean you're sharing everything. It's just people who... You, you feel the same way and you can just listen to their ideas and you know that there's something else. There's another way to start a revolution, right? Okay, <laughs> remember you guys have a mind of your own. You can always think. You don't have to accept what other people are telling you. Um, and you just have to go for it. I'm going to eat now. God bless you. <laughs>